Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another mini review and today's book is The Veil Walker from Oasi Comics. And like always, we're going to be reviewing the art, the story, and the quality of the book. So let's dive right into it. Starting off with the cover, I like this cover. I really do. It's it's basic. It shows off the uh the the main character of this book, the Veil Walker right here. This is his base human form. And then this is his Veil Walker form right here. And then even the background, it kind of shows off the, the duality of this character. Um, you have the oranges, pinkish hue in the back, and then it transitions to a darker purplish bluish uh, background. Great job. Great art choice. I love this cover. So now diving into the interiors. Um, the interiors are good. Um, yeah, they, they do a good job showing, showing off the, uh, action sequences that they, they do grasp your eye and all that for the most part, um, solid designs as far as, uh, character uniqueness, uh, whoever this artist is, uh, they do a good job, uh, with characters faces and it looks like not, no two characters really look exactly alike. They're, they're all fairly unique. And I, I like that in comics. And so good job, whoever the artist is. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, so sorry for that. Um, my biggest critique would actually be the, the Veil Walker's design himself. More so his like costume and color palette. Um, and I want to highlight this sequence right here. Uh, you see, this is the Veil Walker, um, our boy Alexander and his base human form. Like he's just wearing like a business, business casual suit. And th there's nothing initially wrong with that. But when he's fighting, he does not stand out. He's wearing the suit. He blends in with the background. He kind of even shares similar palettes with the, um, uh, with the people that he's fighting with the creatures that he is fighting, uh, right here. He does not stand out too much. And to me, that kind of makes like the, it dampens, um, it dampens the action sequences because this is a moment where he should be standing out. His uniqueness should be standing out his power and his coolness and, and all that. And here he just, you know, he looks like he just walked into the office and yeah, there's like, there's nothing special about him as far as his looks go. And then even, uh, his his power aura that comes off of his sword, it blends in with like the actual specters, the ghosts that he's fighting, and it was hard. It's hard to tell if that that energy came off the sword itself, or it was the result of him cutting, uh, cutting these things. And so uh, I would just suggest um, giving him some type of unique design. Um, and give him a unique color palette. And so like possibly like making his, his energy, uh, like, uh, you know, like green or, uh, red or, or, you know, like so, something that, that is a contrast to everyone else and some type of like bright color or unique looking aura or something, something that is uniquely his and, uh, because he should be, he, he's the focal point of this, this whole book. He's the star of it. So he should stand out, uh, especially when he's fighting. Cause what, like when he's doing his investigations, that's one thing he's like, all right, you kind of have to blend in, uh, right there. But when you're fighting, that's your time to shine. And so that, that's, that's my only critique right there, but it's still solid artwork. The action sequences are cool. They are entertaining. And so good job overall, but I would really, uh, you know, like makes, I would really suggest some type of character design, uh, uh, changes, uh, with that just so he stands out more. Um, but that's really all, uh, the story is solid too. Um, it, it's, uh, it, it's just a basic story. Um, he seems to be some type of veil or veil, some type of uh, monster hunter. Um, and so he's doing an investigation about, a um, a murder of, a of, a online influencer, a YouTuber type personality. And he, he was killed by a monster. So he's looking, he's looking into it. 
And as he's doing his investigation, he's uncovering possible like satanic or cult sacrifices and stuff like that. And um, as the investigation goes on, more about this character, uh, Alexander, uh, is revealed as well. He has some type of spirit that is attached to him. And it seems like they have like a, a symbiotic or possibly parasitic relationship with each other. And you see more of that developing as the story moves on. And at the final conflict at the end, the story just kind of, you know, it just kind of cuts off and it leads, leads into a cliffhanger to the next issue. And so overall, it's a decent, it's a decent um, starting point for the character. Um, I just wish there was more explanation of how this guy's pow powers worked. But overall, uh, the story was enough to grab me into the universe. It got me uh, interested into the story of the Veil Walker. I want to know how this plays out. So I already backed issue two. Looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, yeah. And so now moving on to the quality. The quality of this book is top notch. I paid $8 for it. $8 for a 30 page, 32 page ish floppy, uh, thick paper, uh, paper stock for the cover, thick paper stock for the interiors. Um, yeah. And so overall good quality, especially at the price point, especially at the price point. So overall, I do recommend this. Um, uh, I will leave all the information to this creator inside the description. Uh, the creator, once again, is Oasi, Oasi V. We see him in the chats all the time. Great dude, great creator. Looking forward to his projects uh, and check him out. And thank you. Uh, thank you all for watching this video, too. Uh, can't do this without you. And I will just see you on the next video. Thank you for stopping by.